Hello, my fellow Ripplers. This is Chris Miles, your cash flow expert and anti-financial advisor, welcoming you out for a wonderful show, show that's for you and about you. Those of you that work so hard for your money and you're ready for your money to start working harder for you. You want that freedom, that cash flow, that prosperity today, not 30 or 40 billion years from now, but right now. So you can have that cash flow, that freedom, that lifestyle to be with those that you love, to do what you love, whenever the heck you want. But it's not just about your own comfort and convenience. It's about creating a ripple effect through the lives of others, including your family and the lives of those in your community and everything, being a blessing in more people's lives. And as you liberate yourself financially, you become more powerful in that place too. So guys, welcome again for this show. Appreciate you guys logging in and, and tuning in and sharing this podcast and, and everything that you guys do and binging. I love hearing all the stories about that. So I appreciate you guys doing that so much. And uh, hey, just a reminder, check out our website, moneyripples.com. You can find some more information on there too. All right, so today I've got our special guest. Uh, he actually was a guest for my show two years ago, but I know a lot of you guys are binging, haven't got that far back yet. So, uh, so Mark Podolsky is the land geek. And, uh, and he came back on in 2018. And I'm telling you, this was the number one episode back in that year. Like it was the most popular episode. I had so many of you guys reaching out, it's like, okay, should I do this? Like, what do you think of it? Is it legit? Does it work? Because it seems so awesome. So as a result, we got to have them back, right? Um, so Mark, just to give you a little bit of background for those of you who are newer and tuning in, of course. Uh, he's definitely, like I said, he's, he's considered like the, the authority on how to buy and sell raw land and cash flow it, right? Um, he's doing this for almost two decades. He's actively investing in in real estate and raw land, he's doing both. He's done over 5,000 unique transactions. His company is Frontier Equity Properties. It's actually an A-plus rated Better Business Bureau real estate company, you know. Um, he's achieved high level success through that and definitely getting happy customers guaranteed. He's also the host of another podcast that you guys should check out, uh, which is called The Best Passive Income Model and The Art of Passive Income, which actually I was a guest on uh, about a year or so ago. So, awesome show. You gotta definitely check that out. So. Hey, welcome to our show, Mark. Chris Miles, thank you so much for having me back. And also, Amazon, I, I wrote a book, Chris, oh, Dirt yeah. Rich. You got to check it out, man. <laughs> dirt Rich, I love that. That's That sounds so dirty. <laughs> it's, it's dirty. It's dirty. <laughs> it's dirty. But the cash flow isn't. That's right. Yeah, so... So tell us more about that. I mean, well, first tell us, you know, for those that haven't, you know, followed you from before, like how did you even go the raw, the raw land route, right? Like how'd you do that? Yeah. So if we rewind the tape to 2000, I was a micromanaged, just overstressed 45 minute commute to work and back investment banker specializing in mergers and acquisitions with private equity groups. And Chris, it got so bad for me that I wouldn't get the Sunday blues anticipating having to be back at work on Monday. I'd get mm -hmm. the Friday blues having, yeah. you know, thinking about how fast the weekend was going to go by <laughs> having to be back at work on Monday. So the firm hires this guy and he's telling me that as a side hustle, he's buying up raw land, pennies on the dollar. He's mm -hmm. flipping them online and he's making a 300% return on his investment. Well, I'm looking at companies all day long and a great company, great yeah. company is 15% EBITDA margins or free cash flow. Average mm -hmm. company is 10%. I'm looking at companies all day long, less than 10%. So I don't believe him. So uh -huh. I go to New Mexico with him. I got three grand saved up for car repairs. I do exactly what he says. I buy 10 half acre parcels, average price, 300 bucks, flip them online. They all sell for an average price of $1,200. It worked. Yeah. So, I took all that money. I went to another auction in Arizona, where, which is where I live. And again, it's 2000. There's no one in the room. I'm buying up lots, I'm buying up acreage. And over the next six months, I sold all that land and I made over $90,000 cash. So I go to my wife. I'm like, honey, I'm going to quit my job. I'm going to become a full-time land investor. Well, Chris, she's pregnant. So she's like, absolutely not. So I said, okay, okay. So it took me about 18 months for the land investing income to exceed the investment banking income. And then I quit and I've been doing it full time ever since. That's awesome. 
Now tell, tell me about this. Cause obviously we've had several guests on the show. We've talked about apartment buildings. We've talked about, you know, uh, even turnkey rentals. We've talked about, um, geez, all kinds of stuff, right? Like we've had all kinds of, of different strategies on here, but this one is obviously very unique to what it is. And, and I know there's a lot of people that of course that say, Hey, I'm, I'm trying to save up money to do bigger investments, whether it's be syndications or whatever. Right. But in your case, you've got a good solution for very little money out of pocket, um, definitely some time and energy, but there's some amazing cash flow that could be a part of this thing. So tell us more about that. Yeah, yeah. Like one of my clients um, was Tom Willis. And two years ago, he got the 20000 a month in passive income mm -hmm. in raw land deals. And then I'm like, Tom, what are you going to do? He's like, well, this is my gateway drug to doing <laughs> multifamily. So now he can do multifamily and go into those those bigger deals and, and take some bigger risks. But it's it kind of sped them up, accelerated it, right? Yeah, I totally accelerated them. So um, I have nothing against multifamily, but I, I think that, you know, the nice thing about this land investing niche is there's smaller deals. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't need private money. You don't have to go raise money. You don't spend $25,000 on, you know, a reg D and mm -hmm. doing a syndication, all these things that, you know, one bad deal knocks you out of the game for 10 years. Yeah. So I'll walk you through the model and, um, and kind of show you step by step exactly how this works. So Chris, where do you live uh, permanently? Permanently, yeah. You have to you have to clarify that because I'm in Arizona right now, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I live in Utah most of the year. Okay, so you're in Utah, and I go to the county treasurer in mm -hmm. a county in say Arizona, where we are right now. I'm like, yeah. oh, there's Chris Miles. He owns 10 acres of this raw land, and he owes $200 in back taxes. So Chris, you're advertising two important things to me. Number one, you have no emotional attachment to that raw land mm -hmm. because you live in Utah, properties in Arizona. And number right. two, you're distressed financially in some way because when we don't pay for things, we don't value them in the same way. You even paid your property taxes. As a result, the county treasurer keeps sending you letters saying, Chris, you don't pay your property taxes. Eventually, we're going to auction this property off to a tax lien or a tax mm -hmm. deed investor. So what yeah. I'll do is I'll look at the comparable sales on that 10 acre parcel that you own in Arizona. And the comps are gonna be all over the place. But I'm gonna take the lowest comp and all I'm gonna do is divide by four. And that's gonna give me what Warren Buffett would call a 300% margin of safety. So mm -hmm. I don't wanna be like the housing guys. I don't wanna be in the appraisal business. I'm gonna actually send you an offer. And let's mm -hmm. say for our example, the lowest comp is 10 grand. I'm gonna offer you $2,500 for your 10 acres. You accept it because for you, $2,500 is better than nothing. In reality, right. three to 5% of the market accepts my quote unquote top dollar offer. Mm -hmm. So now after you accept it, I've got to go through due diligence. I got to confirm your back taxes aren't gonna ruin my margin. Like let's just say they're only 200 bucks. Mm -hmm. um, I have to con confirm you still own the property. I've confirmed there's been no breaks in the chain of title, no liens or encumbrances. I have this whole checklist. Yeah. And typically for a deal of 5,000 or less, I'll have my team in the Philippines actually go through our due diligence for us. We pay about 11 bucks. Or if it's 5,000 or more, I'll just go through an American title company and they'll do it as well. So now I bought the property from you for $2,300 to Chris, $200 to the county for $2,500. I'm out $2,500. Now, Chris... Mm -hmm. I'm going to sell this property 30 days or less. Yeah. I have a built in best buyer. Do you know who it is? Who? The neighbors, the neighbors. So right. I'm going to send out neighbor letters saying, Hey, here's your opportunity. Protect your privacy, protect your views, expand your holdings. Oftentimes the neighbors will buy it. Now, if they pass, I'll go to my buyer's list. The buyer's list passes. I'll go to a little website. You probably never heard of called Facebook. It's buy, sell <laughs> groups and marketplace. Right. I'll go to a, Another small one, it's the 10th most trafficked website in the United States called Craigslist. You're going to say Craigslist, and then, yep. And then there's platforms. There's landmoto.com, landandfarm.com, landflip.com, landhub.com, landsofamerica.com. There's all the lands. <laughs> and there's just platforms of people with buy and sell raw land. Now, the way that I'm going to sell it is where the magic happens. So I'm going to ask for a $2,500 down payment to my buyer. And then I'm just going to get a car payment. Let's say $449 a month, 9% interest over the next 84 months. 
Mm -hmm. So it's a one time sale. I get my money out on the down. I might go out six months and then I make it a car payment four forty nine a month, 9% interest. Chris, I've got this passive income of four forty nine a month for the next 84 months, no renters, no rehabs, no renovations, no rodents. And because <laughs> I don't have to deal with a tenant, I'm exempt from Dodd-Frank, RESPA and the SAFE Act, all this onerous real estate legislation. So mm -hmm. then the game that I play, my clients play, is can we create enough of these passive income land notes where our passive income exceeds our fixed expenses and then we're working because we want to, not because we have to. I love that. What, and, and what, kind of, what, what kind of cash would that look like? Like that kind of situation, say you're out of pocket, you know, 2,500 bucks, right? Like what would that look like usually? So where do we get the $2,500? Oh, no, question? like, like, what's the return? Like, you know, how do you? Oh, right, right. Okay. So the average return on those deals are 600 to 1000%. That's on cash deals about 300 to 500%. Sure. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. I mean, we have a very inefficient market. It's truly, you know, what a buyer and a seller agree to. And because we're going out in time, time value of money, we make a lot more money on the terms deals than we do flipping for cash. I mean, there's nothing wrong with cash, but I want to solve really two problems in life. The yeah. first problem is my money problem. But my mm -hmm. second problem, which I think is a bigger problem for most people, is the time problem. So I want to be able to have that passive income so I can work when I want, where I want, and with whom I want. And my mm -hmm. Mondays, my Saturdays are the same day. And once those two right. problems are solved, I'd make the argument that, really life becomes so much more enjoyable. You don't get depressed on Fridays anymore? <laughs> you know, I do to get depressed because Monday, I take Monday and Friday off. So those uh -huh. are what I call my terminal days. And uh -huh. I pretend this is my last day on earth. How do I want to spend that day? Yeah. So it is a little depressing. I'm like, okay, hey, if I'm going to die today, how do I want to spend it? And it's usually just doing simple things. Like I'll meet a friend for lunch. I'll yeah. You know, take my kids and pick them up from school. I hang out with my kids. We'll go to a hike or we'll go to a bike. I'll hang out with my wife. Um, you know, just simple things to really just um, strengthen my relationships. Oh, I love it. That's awesome. I know there's a lot of people listening to this right now that would absolutely love to have that kind of time with their families and, and make that a, a possibility, you know. So speaking of time, like uh, what kind of requirement is required to do something like this? Like what, it, for those that have been successful doing this, because I know some people will try it, but then they're like, ah, too much work, right? Like who are like the best in your mind, whether it's personality or the best type of people that, that do this kind of investing? I, I mean, I think the ambitiously lazy really do well <laughs> in, this, yeah. in this niche. So I'm ambitiously lazy. Uh -huh. um, I have no interest. And I have no passion for raw land. Mm -hmm. What I love is the, is the, what the vehicle does for me and how I can then, you know, solve that money problem and solve that time problem and do what I really want to do in life. But yeah. in order to do that, the last thing I want to do is build myself another job. So mm -hmm. using software and using systems and automation, we have the business 90% automated. And then we have inexpensive virtual assistants. So the people that do really well have, you know, they just kind of follow our recipe and they let go. Yeah. So, you know, when we walk through that model, there's only one place in that model where you make any money and that's on the sale. Mm -hmm. So when you look at your effectively out, effective hourly rate, like I can go to fiverr.com, like it doesn't take any special skills to get a list yeah. from the county. It doesn't take any special skills to, to you know, scrub a list. Mm -hmm. um, once we get our comps, that takes no special skills. Divide by four to price the list. And our inexpensive virtual assistants can do this in our software called LG Pass. So yeah. then I just press a button, the mail goes out. And then once it comes back, I have an inexpensive intake manager actually qualify the people. So I'm out of every aspect of the business. Now, when I first started, I did everything. I mean, it's not like I want to abdicate the business and the blindly and the blind, mm -hmm. but I definitely want to start delegating, creating systems, starting creating processes so I can get myself out of the business and have total freedom. Oh, I love it. And that's something that's updated. That's news from when we did our show two years ago. That's uh, that's awesome. 
Yeah, the software is so fast. It's so good. And that's the front end. And then the back end, I developed mm -hmm. a software called geekpay.io that uh -huh. does the note automation. So it's a one-time set it and forget it system where we get our down payment via credit card. And then we automate collecting the ACH payments, collecting the property taxes, any other fees on a mm -hmm. monthly basis, automates the notifications. But the magic is if the ACH does bounce, it will charge the credit card on file. So we went from an 8% default rate to a 4% default rate, which wow. is phenomenal. Because we yeah, don't have credit checks. Well, especially with volume, that's massive numbers right there. That's massive profit. Yeah, I, again, like I can always make more money. I can't get more time. So anything yeah. that's going to save me time, I'm going to invest in. Exactly. Ambitiously lazy, which it's funny. I've used that term a lot for myself because I'm always like, I'm just ambitiously lazy. It's not that I'm lazy. I just like to get things done as quickly as possible and efficiently so I can have the rest of the time off. Right. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. A yeah, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. That's awesome. So what, what else is like, what, what would you say like were some examples of people that have done this? Like maybe it's just a deal that you've done and what it looked like and, and how it panned out for them. Sure. Um, Roberto Chavez is a really good example. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, he's, he specializes in Texas and over the last year he's built his passive income to $19,000 a month. And he's just, he's just, you know, hitting uh, doubles every, every day. So yeah. average uh, acquisition is about $1,700. Uh -huh. His average sale price is about $7,500. Mm. So he just keeps doing that. He just has this one county he's a specialist in and just keeps buying and selling, buying and selling. And then he's done enough volume that it's really moved the needle where he was a full-time attorney. Now he's a part-time attorney, mm. spends one day doing whatever he wants to do. And then another day, which I think is actually beautiful. He spends it with his dad uh -huh. who's elderly on his ranch and helps out on the ranch. So he's, he's taking that extra day now to really, you know, give back to his dad, which I think is, is wonderful. So he's up to 19,000 a month. Yeah. yeah. That's impressive. That's really impressive. And that, and, and obviously, uh, and that's the one thing I think is cool too. You don't have to start with a lot of capital, do you? I mean, it really doesn't take a lot. No, I started with $3,000. My buddy Duran started with $800. Um, <laughs> I had a client who was like, like it was crazy. Um, he could not afford to buy the land. So uh -huh. what he did was he told the seller, look, I'll close in 90 days. Uh -huh. Well, so the seller's like, okay, we'll close in 90 days. So it takes like a couple of days to do due diligence. Mm -hmm. And then he sent out neighbor letters and then neighbor raised his hand and said, oh, I'll buy it. Uh -huh. So he did a dual close. So he pre-sold it, took that money, used that money to buy it from his original seller. And in the process made an infinite return on his investment plus like right. three grand cash. <laughs> So there's always ways to do it. And, and really, you know, what's interesting is that um, it's a mindset shift. Like you buy any asset, 25, 30 cents on the dollar, there's yeah. someone else on the other end of that deal. And mm -hmm. there's so much money out there, people earning nothing in the bank, like just borrow 8%, yeah. 10%, 12%. It doesn't matter if you're making 300 to 500 to a thousand percent, find the money. Yeah. And the cool thing is you're actually providing value. It's not like you're just trying to be a charlatan. You're not trying to deceive anybody. It's not like that. You're not ripping anybody off. You're purely just providing a value and a service, but there's high profit for that kind of service. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's, it's kind of like, you know, look around your garage. I mm -hmm. guarantee you if I made an offer for something in your garage that you're not going to use, you can't stand looking at it anymore. Right. You'd be so happy to take that money and do something else more productive with it than mm -hmm. just let it go. And that's really oh. who our, our sellers are. They had dreams for that property. That asset has now become a liability. We help them. We also help the county because now they're collecting more taxes. So we're, we're providing better schools and roads and hospitals for that county. And then we're helping somebody own an asset that Ted Turner would say, look, buy land. It's the only thing that lasts. This yeah. amazing legacy investment. Go out with your friends, your family, create your own burning man. I mean, it's only limited by your own imagination. We, yeah. uh, we, we sold some swamp land in Florida because we, yeah. we, we thought, oh, well, it was so inexpensive. They're growing shiitake mushrooms on it. <laughs> That's the highest and best use for swamp land. Like you said, that can be done anywhere, right? 
I mean, you could get land anywhere pretty much. You can, yeah, you can, yeah, the model will work anywhere. However, mm -hmm. we want to be about two, three hours from the nearest city. And look, Chris, I mean, look, yeah, nobody wakes up and thinks to themselves, boy, look like some raw land in Iowa today, unless <laughs> you live in Iowa. So we focus yeah. on the Southwest, the Northwest, California, and Florida. The, the, high, the fast growing states, the sunshine states, that's our biggest buyer pool. Not that I couldn't make money in Arkansas, I have. Not that I couldn't make money in Oklahoma, I have. It's just, I want to specialize in those areas. I also want to avoid the Northeast, any super fun sites where, yeah. you know, if we screw up in due diligence, it could literally ruin us because it's right. millions of dollars of cleanup. But little tip, go to epa.gov. You can find all the super fun sites and avoid them. Oh, great tip. Awesome. Yeah. So if people want to go deeper, they want to learn more about this, what do you recommend? I, I would say that there's a, uh, we have a $97 course called the Passive Income Launch Kit course. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to offer that for your listeners for free. So awesome. they can really just start diving in, getting educated and see if the model resonates with them. So if they just go to landgeek.com forward slash money ripples, mm -hmm. that will take them to the launch kit. They can get into the course and see if it um, resonates with them, makes sense for them or not. Sweet. I love it. Yep. Well, awesome, man. I appreciate your time. This is, again, it's just, it's mind blowing how cool it is, you know, it's what you can do. And, and I'll tell you, I'm in a mastermind group with a lot of high level real estate guys. And out of like over a hundred guys, there's only one that does land and they're like the pink poodle, right? Because they're making great money, but even in their place, they're like, Hey, we're not even big enough to even teach people how to do this stuff. And you're actually teaching it, doing it. I mean, that's such a great, such a great opportunity. So I appreciate you being on, man. Yeah, no, thank you. I mean, you know, and people don't realize how big the market is and how mm -hmm. unsexy this niche is. Like if you go on <laughs> HGTV and the DIY network, you're not going to see flip this land. It's me in front of the computer. No, I mean, it's boring. Before <laughs> picture, raw land. After picture, raw land. <laughs> <Right. Sure laughs> yeah. you, pull, you pull back the screen, you know, and all of a sudden it just looks like raw land. You're like, it, it looks the same, like exactly. But what looks different is my wallet, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yep, well, I love it, man. Well, cool, we appreciate having you on. Uh, everybody else, like, go check it out. Like, what was the website again? Go ahead and give them a website. It's thelandgeek.com forward slash money ripples. Yep, thelandgeek.com forward slash money ripples. So we'll, I'll have that in the show notes for you guys as well, so you can click on that, but check it out, guys. Like, that's an awesome opportunity for, to get that value for free. So go check it out. I know last time there was tons of you that already did, but I know there's a lot more of you that haven't even heard of this stuff yet. So definitely go check it out. So uh, anyways, guys, appreciate you guys being here. Mark, appreciate having you on. Everybody have a wonderful and prosperous week and we'll see you later.